All right. Sorry. It, it takes me longer and longer as time goes on to muster up the courage to start another run between failed attempts until I eventually just can't take it anymore and I cut stream for the night. I feel like I've got maybe a few more in me. That's what she said. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm at the point where I'm compromising my health to do attempts. I rarely push myself that far anymore. I used to stream for far too long and whatever, but nowadays if I'm even getting a whiff of being tired or irritated, I usually just cut. When you see me go from like an attempt and then just unexpectedly, I'm like, okay, bye guys. That's usually because I'm just too irritated to continue. I've been trying to decide whether or not I actually should put in IL attempts on Get Lost. Like, I think that game's pretty neat, but I'm not sure whether or not it's worth um, doing runs. I don't know. I like it. I do. absolutely do have to speedrun every game. That's kind of my thing. It's like my brand. I've speedrun like 180 games at this point. Not all of them are great speedruns. I'll be the first to admit that some of them aren't aren't exactly uh, up to my current standards, but I've always really enjoyed either learning or routing games, depending on the game. That key went all the way back and I'm fucking pissed. That sucks. Don't think I didn't see that shit game. Hey, thanks for spending $4.99 on your subscription to twitch.tv slash... Manic Volcanic, thank you so much for your sub. Your support is appreciated. I'm going to keep going because I hate myself. Hi, Andy. I like you. I like the heck out of you. Yeah, what do you think of it? Did it work when you got it in? Yo, you got a microwave too? How does that one uh, help the stream? Is the uh, microwave... I don't... Maybe I don't understand that one. You thought this was a snug stream? Are you meaning that in the sense that that's how you feel currently, or you previously thought that and I have somehow betrayed the snugness. And if it's the second one, I'd really like to apologize. I do try to shoot for some pretty snug streaming. They all went left. That's insane. take it. 
Oh, wildly unsnug. My sincerest apologies. I will, uh, I will attempt to keep the snug intact. Well, I'm pretty unhappy with how that Redwoods 2 went, but so far, um, with Redwood Keep 2 going really well, um, it really just sort of worked itself out, so... This runs absolutely on in so many ways like Donkey Kong. Yeah, the boss fights are pretty weak in this game. The... Third and the fourth boss fights are pretty technical, but the first, second, and last are snoozers. Oh, sorry. I guess fourth and fifth. First, second, and third are the lame ones. The first and the second one are really the, the biggest culprits. The third one does take some practice to get good at. I don't know, I'm trying to number them is making this harder. The one with the levers is rough. The uh, pharaoh boss is not bad, but it does take practice. And the dragon is boy howdy. Getting good at the dragon is a work of art. Yeah, me and Drex actually, our strats differ in quite a few stages, but most of them, um, we've timed them out to be roughly the same. If you're talking about uh, Starfall Lake 1, though, I'm pretty sure the way I'm doing it's faster than the way he's doing it, but not by much, not, not enough that it matters. He has a pretty strict adherence to strats he came up with, so in places where he came up with strats he likes, he sticks with them. Whereas I have um, stolen stuff from my own routing, from his routing, from the TAS, all sorts of places, so I feel like in general mine tend to be more optimized, but that's not always the case. One day I'm going to get the two key surprise, or the two coin surprise. It's possible if your timing is really, really good to uh, unlock the door in two coins. To be perfectly clear, however, there's no like consistent way to set that up. It's mostly luck of the draw. This is another good one. Fuck, we're in there. Shit, let's, uh... So this next boss coming up actually isn't very hard to do, but like if you watch me like quickly flipping levers at the beginning, it take it took some practice to learn that. I 
And doing this fight casually kind of sucks because you're like very quickly trying to figure out what lever affects what and how to make it do the thing you want to do. But you can always just memorize the levers. Oh, Andy. Uh, just so you know, I have killed more runs in pyramids than than I can count, so... There are three levels in pyramids, and I routinely lose shoes twice in a matter of three stages. Not uncommon. What's this horse? Uh, so this is a raccoon. He's tracking my X position, so I'm actually moving around uh, down below the screen. And I can use this remote control to see where he is. So I'm I'm guiding him sort of indirectly, and he jumps every like four seconds. This stage sucks. It either goes perfectly or I lose like nine seconds. Open the door. Thank you. Looks like I'm gonna... Looks like the choice is lose 9 seconds. Alright, I'm gonna go for the fast strat again, but I'm gonna try to play it a little bit safe when I go back up for the circle. I'm kinda tired of fucking up, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, I I played it safe, I slowed down, but the problem is when you pick up an item, it pulls you toward the item, so I got dragged toward the snake. That's some bullshit. What's 20 seconds loss, right? Who cares? At least 20 seconds all the time. Big deal. Uh, cause I lose my shoes, so now I'm walking real slow. Shoes are pretty dope, not gonna lie. Also, they make some stupid strats possible. Damn. Well, the game's giving me back some of that time. Jesus. Thanks, bud. That would have been that would have been a gold split if I hadn't lost my shoes. Uh, while you're paused, you can hit A, B, and C all at the same time to um, exit the stage. You can do it anytime you want to. So just like in Super Mario World, for instance, where you might go into a stage, get a power-up, and then hit start and select to leave the stage. I'm doing the same thing! Stage. 
No, I'm stupid. Give me that. Uh, yeah, so the story about the game is Pugsy was in outer space when he got shot down by some space pirates or something. And uh, he crash landed on this planet where all the inhabitants are raccoons and they stole his ship. And now he's like fighting his way through all the guardians of the planet to try to get his ship back. I cannot believe that I caught that cycle. I should not have caught that cycle. That was a really rough stage. What have I got against space pirates? I'm cool with them until they like shoot my ship down. In that way, yes, this is just like John Wick. Good observation. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. Why do they want my ship? I don't know. My guess is that they're just like chaotic evil. I don't think they so much hate me as they just like fucking shit up. Double hit? Alright, come on. Double hit, alright. This is supposed to be a seven cycle fight, but you can get double hits in and turn it to a four cycle fight, so I'm getting four cycles. Those double hits are really tough. The timing on them is narrow. If you get the first hit at the right time, then you've only got a few frames to get the second hit in. Dude, I'm really looking forward to coming back to A Link to the Past. That new tech is so cool. That's the kind of speed tech that I live for in games. Like, just really fucked up, uh, you know, misuses of game mechanics that were never intended. I don't know why the password's MRC. I don't think it stands for anything. You're not supposed to just, like, work it out but from the letters. You're supposed to use the flashlight, and the flashlight will tell you which letter goes where. <sighs> All I ask is that the bird doesn't give me bad RNG. This bird is, as far as I or anyone can tell, completely random. I have no control over it. I just, he has to get out of the way. I, I have to wait till he gets out of the way. Oh God, I didn't wait. All right. I can lose 30 seconds going back and get shoes. That's like all I can do. That one felt like it was my fault. Not happy about that. It's gonna cost me 30 seconds or so. I have glasses now though, so I can make this a little bit faster than I usually would. Maybe it'll only be like 25 seconds or so. Like, I wouldn't usually get... Can I not jump over those rocks? No. 
Alright, this is okay. I just need everything to go well. That's all. I just need... I need all the things that go bad to instead go good. That's it. That's it. And then we got a speed game. It's good. Just need all the, all the bad stuff to not be bad and instead replace the bad with the good. Usually I goof around, but... Usually I goof around on this platform because it's boring, but... I'm too terrified to goof around on this platform right now. Because if you fall off of this, you lose a 16 to 17 second cycle. It's something like that. Everywhere where I might have made a mistake, I'll instead not. I've got... I mean, every stage from here on out is a potential run killer. But I think it's doable. I'm gonna play this stage more conservatively than I usually do because I actually have a lot of time that I have to wait anyway and I always play this stage really stupidly aggressive which doesn't make any sense to me Not optimal. No! <laughs> I thought I missed, so I was like, I'll just go get it. I'll go, I'll go get it and I'll fix this. It's not a big deal. And then it came back. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Just let me get in there. Alright, cool. This is not my best work. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna be real TBH right this second. You've gotta go up. I don't... You don't have a choice here. You have to keep moving. Fucking PB. It wasn't the fucking twenty four, but it's a twenty twenty five, so how mad can I really be? I can't really lose time from here. This is, this is fixed. It, there's nothing I can do to make it faster or slower. I know the secret stand in the middle technique.
Hey, thanks for spending $4.99 on your subscription to twitch.tv slash authorblues. Yo, Nana, come home. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. My PB was awful. And my PB is still awful. And by still awful, I mean this PB. This one you're watching right now. Andy, thank you for the hundred bitteroonies. Woohoo. Thank you all. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just... This run was... <laughs> hey, I wonder if there was any possibility I could have saved 45 seconds. Oh wait, let's look at Racklantis Docks 1 and 2, where I lost 16 and 33 seconds respectively. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you all for the bits, you're very generous. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, 40 Watt. Thank you, Vagity. Thank you, Akarasi. Thank you, Kirakana. Thank you, DeWild Grim. Thank you, Other Tom. Thank you all for your GGs and your congrats. This run is unforgiving, to say the least. Oh, crap. And now I have a PB with a really good Badger Mill, too. Don't... <laughs> well, I might stop speedrunning this game now. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad people enjoy watching this game. It makes me happy that there is some attention being brought to quirky games. It always makes me happy when people actually enjoy them. Yeah, I thought so too, Andy. And then, those two weeks turned into, like, two months. <laughs> the game won't give up the time I want. <laughs> it just refuses me. This was a really good run, except for my last segment. So because I lost shoes in Pyramids 3, I lost 16 seconds on Darkblade Forest. And I lost 12 seconds in Redwoods 2. Well, that'll be easy to get that time back. But in general, this was a really solid run. I mean, look at this right-hand column. How close to my gold splits I was on, like, every level. So crazy to me. Twenty two fifty seven, but I don't think. Uh, so so first off, I imagine that there's some error, the, some splitting errors that make that not actually achievable. I think it's like 